guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's tutorial because I was thinking a lot about like before I started my channel and I've been watching beauty gurus on YouTube for years and years and years and I got thinking I always loved to see drugstore tutorials because seriously up until college I only wore drugstore makeup and that was what was accessible to me that was more realistic for me to purchase and I feel like here on my channel I haven't really focused too much on drugstore products which is like a shame so I'm so excited to bring this look to you today I wanted to create this natural glam using all drugstore affordable products some of them you might not be able to find in the drugstore, like only ColourPop, you have to buy those online, but I feel like they're still drugstore price, so I still included those products in this tutorial. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I went to the drugstore and I bought a lot of new products that I had never tried before, so this was super fun for me to film. It's kind of like a first impressions video as well. So before we get into this natural glam drugstore tutorial, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, join the family, come on board. If you're already subscribed, please make sure to hit the notification bell. That just means you'll be notified every single time I post a video. So with that being said, if you guys want to see how I got this look using affordable products, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the Physicians Formula Corrector and Primer Duos. I'm going to take the yellow and green one first, and I'm going to focus in with the green shade to kind of help cancel out my blemishes and redness on my face. This is the first like color correcting that I've really done on my channel. I'd hardly do that in real life, but I really have been loving these products. I took the yellow to cancel out my dark circles, and then the peach and lavender Kit, I just kind of dipped my entire sponge in and mixed the colors. This is supposed to brighten the face and I really feel like it did that. I really, really liked it. So moving on to foundation, I went in with the Milani 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. I took the lightest shade, which I think is like vanilla, I believe. I'll link it down below. This, like, this was also my first time using this foundation. I've heard so many good things about this foundation, but never had a chance to try it out myself. But I really, really loved how it wore and how it was buildable, but not cakey looking at all I really loved the finish overall and I'm gonna keep using it in my tutorials and I'll give you guys a full opinion later but I really loved the finish off of my first impressions so for concealer I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline fit me concealer this is my favorite concealer at the drugstore so I just picked up a new shade I went a little bit lighter this is the fair shade and I just use that to brighten up my under eyes and also brighten up the center of my face I just put it on all the high points and then blended that out with my Aesthetica beauty sponge and if you guys haven't tried the Aesthetica Beauty Sponge, please do. It is so great. So now moving into the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect translucent setting powder this comes in a few shades and I have never seen anybody on YouTube maybe that maybe people have talked about it but I've never seen anybody talk about this it's a translucent powder and it kind of smells like baby powder so there is kind of a strong scent to it but I was so impressed it didn't like crease at all it just went on really smooth and so I used that to bake my under eyes and then I kind of took a fluffy brush to set my entire face but so far so good on this translucent powder as well I I, I really love it. I also took some and I put it on my eyelids just to set that. I don't know why the lighting changed so bad here, but it did. It got like super warm toned. So I'm going to go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer as a crease shade today. It works really well. If you haven't tried that trick, it's actually really helpful, especially if you're in, the, in a rush in the morning or something. Just use some bronzer as eyeshadow and you're good to go. I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is in the shade Smash, a really pretty golden taupey color that I think would be perfect for every day. Day. I just went ahead and applied that with my finger. That's how I like to apply these shadows in particular. And then I took my pinky and I put a little bit on my lower lash line as well. So for eyeliner, this is what's going to give it a little bit of drama. I did a pretty big wing with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Overboard. It's just a really nice bronze shade. So even though it's a big dramatic wing, because of the shade, it doesn't look super duper like out there. So for mascara, I'm going with the L'Oreal Voluminous carbon black mascara this is a great drugstore mascara and then i'm going to warm up my complexion of course with the physicians formula butter bronzer just around the perimeters of my face my cheekbones down the side of my nose underneath my nose to shorten it and underneath my lips to make it look a little bit more pouty so i'm going with the milani baked blush in luminoso this is like a fan favorite but i had never tried it until that moment and i can see why everybody loves it it's a gorgeous shimmery blush but the color is so beautiful 
beautiful and I kind of put that all over my face because I got really excited. <laughs> I'm going with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight in the shade Precious Petals. This was also something that I had never tried before. Guys, this was like a $2 highlight and it is beautiful. It's a little bit more on the pink side, this shade, which would probably look a little bit better once I'm a little bit tanned, you know, in summer, but it worked and I'm I want to try the other shades, but I just went ahead and put that on all the high points of my face and I was really impressed with this formula. For a $2 highlight, you guys, you can't beat that. I also went under my eyebrows and went into the inner corner of my eye to brighten them as well. So for lips, I went in with a old favorite of mine. This wasn't something new. I went in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London and then I set everything with the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray and I really love the setting spray actually and that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see lots more drugstore tutorials, I'm planning on doing a lot more because I like it just dawned on me that I haven't been doing that enough for you guys. So I apologize and there will be more. Also comment down below. I read all of your comments. I love seeing your requests. So please make sure to leave some requests for me. Once again, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.